If you want to learn how to import house plants from international sellers, from overseas, from wholesalers, this video is going to be for you. My name is Courtney here at Oopside Planted again, and there are not enough videos on YouTube about how to import house plants. I found one video in my initial research, and that video helped me with the process, and I am going to tell you exactly what I did step by step in importing house plants. The first thing I did was research because I had no idea how to get started. I knew that I wanted some more uncommon plants and bigger plants, but I really didn't want to buy them locally because the prices are a lot. And I Googled and I YouTubed how to import house plants. And there were a ton of videos and a lot of information about what to do when you get imported house plants, but not the actual like process from how do you find a seller to it getting to your house. I found one really great video and I think his name is Taylor Firestone and I will link that video below and I'll like show a clip of, or a screenshot of the, the thumbnail so you know exactly what video I'm talking about. But that video that he posted was so helpful in helping me get started. So while I was researching and I found this video, he talked about how to find these wholesalers. So I went on Instagram and I looked at houseplant shops, popular houseplant people like influencers, YouTubers, all of that stuff. And I looked at who was following these accounts. And what I was looking for specifically was people's whose handles had something that said like plant seller or wholesaler or something of that nature. And once I clicked on their profile, I deep dove into their profile. I looked at their bio, I looked at the photos of the plants that they had, I looked at the captions, and once I found a person that I was like, okay, I like the plants that they've posted, I think their bio resonates with me, it makes sense to me, and I reached out to them. I sent them a DM, I said that, hey, I'm interested in buying wholesale house plants, can you give me some more information on your process, on your shipping policies, how long shipping is going to take, can you tell me what plants you have, how many plants you're willing to give, like how many plants you have for sale, all of this stuff. So you really want to vet these people before you spend your money, that's really important. So I asked a ton of questions, like every single detail that I could think of from the process to the shipping to the price to what plants they had, every single thing, so that I felt comfortable continuing on with the process. So once I found somebody that I liked and we had talked everything, I had this seller email me on my business email account. You can use a personal account, but I have a business account for Oops, I Planted Again. And he sent me a ton of spreadsheets of all of the plants that he had. Now, when I decided to work with the seller, I took the opportunity to negotiate with the prices because of how many plants I was buying. And the first time I purchased plants wholesale, I bought 13, I think I bought 12 or 13. And the reason why I bought that specific amount is because if you have under that amount, you don't need the permit, like an import permit. But it's worth it to get that permit, and I'll show you a screenshot of what that is and I'll link it below. It's worth it to get that permit because it just makes the process a lot easier because when you're buying a plant from overseas all the way to the States, there is a lot of paperwork and the shipping can take a little bit longer than you probably would think because it has to go through import and export and it's gonna go to a bunch of different places. When you are buying house plants overseas, they have to come with a phytosanitary certificate and this is really important or you're basically wasting money and wasting house plants because if 
they are not properly clean. That's basically what the phytosanitary certificate is saying is that the plants are clean properly so that they're not spreading anything. It's a very big deal, so you need to have it when you are importing plants with a wholesaler or anything that is international to the states. So when I did it that way, that's to me, in my opinion, that's what cost the most money was that certificate. Because compared to getting plants from somewhere like Equigenera, they are basically the middleman. They are importing from Ecuador, from South America to Florida and they're basically taking on that cost of the phytosanitary certificate and then you're just buying the plant from Equigenera. But when you are the person who is getting the plant directly from the wholesaler, you have to take into account the cost of the phytosanitary certificate along with shipping. So all of the times that I've imported plants, I have gotten them with DHL. Now it's likely that DHL is going to email you consistently with updates about where your plant is headed and you should also keep in contact with the seller at all times to know when they're shipping it out, how long it's estimated to take and all of that. Also when you are purchasing online with a seller use PayPal business not the family and friends and the reason why you want to do this is because it's basically covered if that makes sense. If you use family and friends and something happens, which it could, I've heard a ton of horror stories about like scamming and all this stuff. If you use family and friends for PayPal, then it's, you could lose your money if it does turn out to not be, you know, not be a good uh, person to get houseplants from, but that's why you can use the PayPal business and it's likely that you'll be able to recoup that because it's covered by like the PayPal insurance. So don't use PayPal family and friends, use the PayPal business to make sure you're covered as well as the seller being covered. So you research the person that you want to buy from, you have vetted them, asked them a million questions as many as you want and they should be really accommodating to answering questions because it is a business transaction. So they should be very accommodating and patient, but you also need to be patient and accommodating as well with answering questions and receiving questions. And then you wanted to pick the plants that you want, look at the deals, see what they have, see where you can negotiate, get your total price, and then use something like PayPal Business. That's what I would recommend to use because you're covered for it. And I don't know if I'm saying it's correctly, if it's PayPal business or it's PayPal, whatever. I don't know what it is, but it's not PayPal family and friends. Don't use like the regular PayPal, use like the business account, which is free to set up anyways. And then the person is gonna ship you the house plants. Now, when they're coming from overseas, it's gonna take a little bit longer than, you know, other places. It's because it's literally coming overseas, it's exporting there, importing here, and then usually with the import permit and stuff, you'll have to like say where the plant is going to come in and you'll know like what are the major ports that the plant comes in because I can show you in my email what it actually looks like. The first time I did this, I was very confused about the form, but it's fairly, it's not that bad. And I think it's worth it to do because the next time I imported, I got like 24 plants and I already had that permit, which was really helpful. So your plants have shipped, they've arrived, and now you get to have them in your house. And I did a video where I imported from Equigenera, which is a little bit different, but I talked about how I transitioned my plants from shipping to being inside of my care and I will do a more in-depth video if you would like on how to take care of imported house plants. If you have any more questions about importing house plants or how I did it, please drop them in the comments below. Like I said, this is just how I did it. Is it the only way? Probably not. Is it the best way? I don't know, but it's worked for me and I've had a good experience overall with importing house plants. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one.